Welcome to SEC Second Look on AL.com. Coming to you from the Shrimp Basket on Old Shell Road in Mobile. We're recapping the NFL draft for the Auburn Tigers. Mike, let's start with the guys who maybe you think had a, a perfect fit in terms of where they went in this draft for the Auburn Tigers. Well, at number two, I think Greg Robinson's a great fit for the St. Louis Rams. Uh, they're set at tackle with, with Jake Long and, and Joe Barksdale on the other side, but they're going to move him to guard, it sounds like. They've got a hole at left guard. He can step right in and start, and they think that'll be a great spot for him and then eventually uh, replace Long at left tackle uh, down the road a little way. So would you look at what Jeff Fisher wants to do with that football team. I think that's a great fit for him. Number two overall in the draft, you would expect that to be a great fit. Who do you see among the Auburn draftees maybe going to have a tougher time fitting in in terms of the team they went to? Well, I'm curious to see how Houston's going to use Jay Prosh because to me he's a natural fullback. Uh, Bill O'Brien in the past with New England's used a lot of two tight end sets. Prosh has played some H back in, at Auburn, which should help him there. Uh, but he's really more of a natural fullback. Will be competing with uh, former Alabama uh, player Brad Smelly there, so it'll be interesting to see how that comes out. But I think really think how much he's on the field uh, may be dependent upon how many, how much they use a fullback, what type of, of schemes they use in the game plan each week. The Rams also with Trey Mason, who I think has a real chance to be a star in the league. Certainly they got Zach Stacy uh, from Vanderbilt who had a breakout season last year, but really didn't have a, a legit number two, had a couple other guys that got some carries, but I think that's a good spot for Mason to come in and be a nice compliment to Zach Stacy. And Auburn's second first rounder, D Ford, how do you think he fits in with the Chiefs? Well, I think he fits their scheme perfectly as a 3-4 outside linebacker. The problem there is they've got Justin Houston and, and Tom Bahali, both of whom had 11 sacks last year, so it's going to be tough for him to break into the lineup. But uh, they're trying to work out an extension for Houston. Holly's cap hit is exorbitant this year. It may be a situation where the Chiefs are foreseeing it being difficult keeping both of those guys down the road under the salary cap. Of course, a handful of undrafted free agents as well with a chance to make the league, but those four we'll certainly keep an eye on for the Auburn Tigers going into the league.